When Democrat Jesse Jackson visited Robeson County yesterday, it was typical of what you might see with the visit of a front runner. Network news crews, crowds of people, and tight, extremely tight security. The same was true for Republican Senator Bob Dole's visit to Duke University this morning. Today in Chapel Hill, the crowds turned out for Democrat Gary Hart, but from there, things are different. Gone is the Secret Service protection. Hart says he voluntarily gave that up two weeks ago after his poor showing in Iowa and New Hampshire. Gone are the federal matching funds, and gone are those ever-important network news crews. I mean, I don't show up much on the networks anymore, and that's a problem. But, uh, but again, I must say, I think um, I mean, your presence here, uh, you are the eyes and ears, and the fact you're here, I don't know, what, you know what, how this will translate into print and, and uh, evening news, but... The six television cameras recording Hart's speech on a National Service Corps were all from the Raleigh-Durham area. Down front, there was a large group of still photographers, a photojournalism class from UNC assigned to the speech as a lab project. And in one corner of the room, a lone, uniformed campus police officer served as security in this crowd of 800. Despite it all, Hart maintains he's still a serious candidate. He says comments made a few weeks ago that he would be a part-time candidate were misinterpreted. And no matter how he does next Tuesday, he's in the race to stay. I am running for president. I want support of voters in North Carolina and every state on Super Tuesday. And I intend to remain a candidate so long as I can get that message across and receive support for it. And so long as there's not a leader in this pack, and uh, there isn't right now.